Good morning. As I was recording my video last night, I was intrigued by the heavens. Wow, so freaking beautiful. My prayers were finally being answered one by one, giving me the courage and strength to move forward in this so-called journey of life. When I woke this morning and realized I had made a successful video and realized that I had got another subscriber, I was jumping up and down for joy, believe it or not. I didn't think I could possibly do anything. I get, just kept trying. My dad told me, don't ever give up. My mom says, don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. So I'm never going to give up. I felt proud, yet still fear many things. I will never ever give up again. God is good. I even lost faith for almost two years as my events of life unfold. One by one leaving chaos and now it is m now my family can hopefully mend the chaos is over i have been receiving messages from my son as he's going through another medical emergency this is the second time now it's horrific what he's been through i sit here and i bird watch and i listen to them speak to me it's very soothing and beautiful and so much more and I'm going to take Ariel and go for a walk soon. And we're going to go sit under our favorite tree. And we're going to continue um, with this video because I, I get a lot of thoughts when I sit by the birds and watch the squirrels. And it's just so beautiful. Um, nature, I mean, God gave us a beautiful world and we've done nothing but destroy it, really. Anyways, um, I'll... I'll be back in a little bit. Stay tuned. Back. I had absolutely no clue that I was a victim of narcissism and gaslighting and so much more. I finally completely shut it down. I shut the narcissist down. Finally. Boy, oh boy, when I found out what the hell I was going through. What? Wow. Anyways no contact who the hell does shit like this it's inhumane to say the least what he has been what has been done to me my mom and my whole family now i freaking get it i've gone no contact and seeking legal advice now why the hell would he ever ask me to marry him when asked why the answer was he said i was afraid of losing you he was afraid to lose his supply, and he did, and I pray to God that no other woman will be taken as I have and his first wife, and the next he never married. Boy, did I get lucky marrying him. Holy shit, what a nightmare. Check out the sky. Like, last night's sky was the most amazing I've seen in a long time. It's like the heavens were reaching out and speaking to me. You just have to look at the sky like you can see angels and and so much more and it's so so beautiful well i never made it outside yet but i'm i'm heading that way i got a call from my son and hopefully it's good news and not more bad news as we journey on this journey together um so now i'm gonna head outside and i'll talk to you in a bit god bless and see you soon stay tuned well, I'm back again. I never did make it outside. <laughs> I figure I'll do I'll do another movie later of all my birds and squirrels and things like that. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Yep, because I enjoy it. So, unbelievable. I actually forgot what I was going to say that quick. So, I, I now have to deal with all the medical aspects. I have ulcerative colitis. I have diverticular, I have chronic gastritis, I had polyps removed, I am still waiting to get into a hospital because I was diagnosed with an eating disorder from not being fed or given drinks or stuff like that. I lost all that weight because I was abused i was not fed i was not given anything i was left with nothing i was let left to fend for myself with no water no nothing and i can't keep water down i throw it up 
I'm done with throwing up. I'm just going to get better now. I am just going to get better, and I am not going to ever be taken down by destruction of a narcissist again ever in my life because they just ruin people. They don't have a heart. They're not empathetic. I am full of empathy. Always have been, always will be. Nobody's going to ever, ever, ever change who I am, what I am, where I go, and what I've become. I'm a PSW of 30 years, proud of it. And now I'm going to be taking care of my mother again, back in my arms so I can love my mother till the end of time, like I promised. I love my mother. I am now the caretaker of my mother as she is losing her her mind unfortunately from the narcissist and i'm really praying and hoping that i can get her brain back enough that she can live a couple of years longer and have a good life not this bullshit life that we were given by the narc it's disgusting it's shame it's it's a disgrace it's in freaking humane humane it's just bullcrap so if my narc is watching this which i'm hoping he isn't because i ha i'm hoping to have him completely blocked then i hope you get what you've done to me my mother and my family because this is bullcrap i deserve better so does my kids so does my mom and so do you, believe it or not. You can do this. You need to get the help now. Not tomorrow. Not a week from now. Not six months from now. How about now so you don't take anybody else down with you? Come on. You can do it. You started reading Al-Anon to me. You started reading a You can do it. Why the hell? unconditionally she is love she is full of love and i am love i am a child of god i am beautiful and i will go on and live a fulfilled life after being taken by a narcissist yes i will because i believe in the power of prayer the power of god and I will take it one day at a time, one minute at a time if I need to, to one second at a time. Right now, I'm up to one day at a time. <laughs> this last picture makes me laugh because <laughs> I feel like a football player. Anyways, love and light, guys. God bless. I always like to end it with the pictures of the things that have been done to me so that this doesn't happen to you or your family, or your children, or grandchildren. It's disgusting what's happened to me, and I cannot see this happen to anybody else. So I need to get out there, and I need to move a mountain or two, and I will. I'm going to head to the East Coast. I'm going to head to the West Coast. I've got the strength that I need now, and the courage I need, and I'll be damned if I'm going to be taken down by narcissists again. The butterfly gives me hope. I have wings now not just a cocoon anymore look at that full bloom i'm starting to be in full bloom oh boy truth lies yep all lies no truth no truth at all it's a disgrace what has been done to me but i will never ever ever give up again in my life this is one of my favorite pictures of ariel she just loves her mom unconditional i pray to god and I pray and I pray and I pray in Jesus name I pray to never ever be taken again and to to mend my family I am beautiful look at me I am and the skies are gorgeous it's heaven so I'm not even afraid to die anymore because I know I'm going to heaven and uh, like this shit 
th this, like no food, nothing to drink, nothing, like nothing. How does people do this? Nothing. Like the weight loss, like, come on, this is a disgrace. I have fun on these things. I just threw that in there for the heck of it. My little baby girl sleeping. Nope, she's awake. She just loves her mama. I have the courage to change, and I am, I am changing. I am changing. There's the freezer, no food. Again, the fridge, no food. Maybe a drink or two. But I'm very... I can't eat a lot because I have an eating disorder, so I need to learn how to eat all over again. I cannot, I was barricading the door there, and this is a stormy night, and the end, the storm is over. The storm is over. The narc is shut right down forever and ever and ever. Amen.